An estimated quarter million people from around the country revving their engines at the 80th annual Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. Bikes as far as the eye can see. Masks? Not so much. They've been recommended but not required. As one festival goer put it, quote, these people calculate their risks every time they get on a motorcycle. I want to welcome Chris Cox. He's joining us now. He's the founder of Bikers for Trump. Uh, Chris, thank you so much for spending some of your Saturday night with us. Uh, as far as I understand, you're from South Carolina. Why was it so important for you to be in Sturgis this week? And, and did you take your bike all the way there? Yes, my bike is here along with our command center and our voter registration team. Um, but with your intro there, you know, there a lot of predictions have been made. Um, there were predictions that over 5% of the people that caught this would actually die when actually it's less than 1%. So um, we have to mitigate these um, predictions and put them in perspective. And um, a lot of us believe this might be a pandemic as opposed to a pandemic. And I, for one, am one of them. But that being said, we do have uh, several hundred masks outside my command center where we're doing voter registration. Um, the restaurant I was just at had a biker for Trump rally has over 10 gallons of hand sanitizer and 5,000 masks. So we're taking the precautions that we need to take. But um, quite frankly, I think it's being blown out of proportion. I think this is being polarized by the left because of the simple fact that they would like mail-in ballots. And uh, that might be the only chance they have of beating our president if they have an uh, opportunity to maybe uh, cheat a little bit. Uh, Chris, let me ask you something. I, I appreciate the fact that you're holding voter registration events. It's important to uh, have people have access to the ability to uh, voice their thoughts in that way. But I, I want to clarify here. Did you say that you subscribe to the idea that this was a planned pandemic? Well, it would seem so. The fact that we uh, that they, they predicted over 5% of the population that got the virus would die when, in fact, it's less than 1%. But hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm not talking about the projections. I'm asking you if you believe that this pandemic, coronavirus, COVID-19, was planned. I believe that it's being polarized by the left for the simple fact no, no, no. that they want I, I, to. I'm not, asking you, I'm not asking you about the political reaction. Do you think that this is a plan by some nefarious organization to hurt Americans? I think this is a plan by the left to sink the, this amazing economy that our president has built greater than anyone else and that these numbers are being uh, just exaggerated across the board. When we look at, I have a friend that's a doctor in South Carolina that took one of the swabs, put it in an envelope and sent it in. It came back that he was positive. I think that people are dying from heart attacks and strokes and they're on their death certificates that's saying that they died of COVID. I think that the COVID is being, um, if you have a, a cough or you sneezing or a runny nose, they're, they're saying that you had COVID. But uh, uh, do they really have it? You know, this is, isn't it? Isn't it convenient that this is happening during on the eve of an election and that all of these protests are around and so where you guys aren't happy with the bikers that are coming together this working collar the blue collar and this working class community the, the veterans and the uh the rest of them are coming here but yet we don't hear any pushback when these big demonstrations from black lives matters and other organizations like antifa are marching through the streets if we look in portland was there any concern or the work with your network uh, voicing their concerns about the, the pandemic spreading in Portland. Actually, they're, they're absolutely, no, there absolutely was, Chris, because I was in the streets with protesters, and the first question that I asked.